All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get rolling here. For those who have just jumped on over the last couple minutes, welcome. Glad you're here today. Really excited for everyone to hear about um, this, what the product we're going to be talking about today, the game-changing product. It's going to be awesome. But before we get into that, I want to introduce myself briefly, introduce a couple other folks. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Philip Lamar. I'm one of the marketing sales directors here with ACMG. And for those that aren't familiar with ACMG, it stands for American Central Marketing Group. And we are very proud to say we are one of the biggest FMOs in the country. We work and serve thousands and thousands of independent agencies, agents, brokerages, call centers all over the country in all 50 states. And we like to say the reason we're one of the biggest FMOs is because we do everything we can to help you to serve your business, to do everything we can to help your agency grow. And we do that in several ways. Number one, of course, we like to say we always have the latest and greatest, the top products in the industry, which we're going to be talking about that today. But we have the best technology platforms, the best broker platforms. And of course, we have the top commissions in the business. We offer all different levels of contracts from FMOs, GAs, MGAs, all the way down to if you're a solo producer. So we're uh, looking forward to, to helping you out today here. Also want to introduce on the call my friend, the founder and CEO of ACMG, Rob Swanders on the call with us. And I want to mention a couple of things before I introduce you to Dan and the team at Illinois Mutual. But if you've been in the life insurance business for any time now, whether that's been a couple of years, a couple of decades, or maybe you're brand new, you've definitely heard of final expense, right? It's a highly needed product. There are people that need it every single day. It's a great product to sell. If you're not selling final expense, this is something that you're going to want to sell. Trust me. And our friends, our partners over at Illinois Mutual have just released a game-changing final expense product, something that is without a doubt changing the industry. Everything from easy underwriting Simplified issued applications, easy enrollment process, high face amounts, death benefits, a very, very generous age limit to who can get covered. It's, it's phenomenal across the board. And of course, something that we all care about, high commissions. So if this is something that sparks your interest, if you're looking for final expense product to add to your portfolio, or maybe you have something now and you want to see something that's without a doubt going to be a competitor, maybe your go-to carrier to write with. Look no further because Illinois Mutual, they are changing the game without a doubt. So hang tight, stand by, get ready for this. We are recording the meeting and you can watch this recording anytime on our YouTube page. But without further ado, I want to introduce Dan Peterson. He's going to go ahead and take it away to lead the presentation. Go ahead, Dan. Thank you very much. So let me uh, get everything up and ready to go for you so you can see. Um, Perfect. We can see your screen. Okay. Let me see here. Switch it, Dan. Yep, I'm switching. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have Leah here. <laughs> she, uh, well, for multiple reasons, but uh, let me not giving me a uh i can see your display settings up at the top uh, you might have a bar covering it yeah there it is I, go a little bit higher is. sorry about that everybody <laughs> there we go are we good now perfect okay <laughs> as you can tell i'm technology challenged at times but uh <laughs> i can present this so we're good. Thank you again for uh, allowing us the opportunity to come on to talk about our new product, our Simplified Issue Whole Life. We uh, introduced this product on August uh, 1st of this year. So it's just uh, still kind of in the, don't want to say honeymoon period, but the infancy stage. But we've made a lot of progress in the last two months with sales um, on this product. It's, uh, you know, a learning experience for us as well, but um, we're getting a lot of the stuff ironed out. So Hopefully the stuff that I have to present today will um, you know, provide you some additional insight on, on the product. 
And again, we'll leave it open to any type of discussions, questions. I'm going to cover the product part of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'll turn it over to Leah and then she'll go through more of the process on quoting it, the application. Um, but I'll cover a little bit of that and then she'll go into more details on it. So, um, you know, first of all, I just want to give you some insight on who Illinois Mutual is. Um, you know, you have your choice of many different companies. We fully get that. So, you know, why Illinois Mutual? Uh, kind of just a very quick overview of our product portfolio. And then what I'm going to do is dive more into the simplified issue products. So, you know, who's Illinois Mitchell? We've been, uh, we're based out of Peoria, Illinois. I live in Des Moines, Iowa. So I cover 13 states. Um, and so I'm out in the Midwest primarily, usually out on the road, uh, work in the office occasionally, but most of my time is spent out in the field working with agents, uh, going through our products, uh, showing them how Illinois Mitchell can be a great fit for, for their needs. Uh, one of the other things is we are a fifth generation company. So uh, five generations of the McCord family. And in today's world, that's pretty much unheard of. There's, you know, usually by the second generation, things start to either increase or decrease. Unfortunately, most of the time decrease. And then by the third generation, the business has gone um, away and sold to somebody that's more interested in it. But we are a fifth generation uh company. So, um, you know, it's a lot to say about that, that, that we rely on it. We are a mutual company, um, which, you know, obviously, hey, it's, it's up to the policyholders. They're the ones that control it. We're not controlled by what the market does. Our AM best rating, uh, we're A minus excellent. We sell insurance in 46 states. We offer a e-policy platform with electronic signature and Leah will get into more of that. Uh, with the direct access to the underwriting team. So that is very, very key, especially in a simplified issue product. Uh, with the simplified issue product, we make available our underwriters on all of our products, regardless if it's fully underwritten or the simplified issue. And what I mean by make it available is our approach to it is nobody knows your client better than you do. So what we want to is if you're working on a case, you're welcome to call our underwriters to, to get you know, a risk assessment. Uh, a risk assessment basically takes the place of what in the days when I started in the business 25 plus years ago, we all remember those the trial apps. Um, trial apps were fine, but the problem with trial apps is you would submit them and then all of a sudden, guess what the company had to do? They had to put in what the MIB codes were. So that can cause red flags along the line. Um, a risk assessment does not do that. What you're doing is you're calling in with as much information that you have to get an evaluation of, of how we would rate the case and rather it be, you know, from the time that you're working on the case or the time that you submit the case, uh, you have full access to our underwriters. We also have Spanish language, um, in our home office. So if you do have any clients, um, you know, that need help, um, in the Spanish language, we're there. Uh, we have the support on the back end to help with that. And then probably one of the key things, and I often overlook it, is we have a very user-friendly agent portal uh, that you can use to track your business. So before I get into the simplified issue, I just want to give you a very quick snapshot of what our product portfolio is. We have our term products, uh, just a very quick abbreviated edition. Our term is, you know, there's 800 insurance companies in the US, 700 of them offer term insurance. So it's how can you make yourself different? We have a term to age 65 and a term to age 70. So if a 25 year old person bought a term to age 70, they get, you know, they could get a 45 year term. Uh, and then we also offer a return of premium term. Uh, out of those 800 companies, there's less than 10 that offer a return of premium term or one of them. So that's a uh, unique feature that we have. And then we have our traditional whole life products, but you know, you didn't join and we weren't asked today to, to talk about these products. I just wanted to point out that if you ever do have a need, there are those products, but let's get into the simplified issue whole life. So what the simplified issue whole life is, is it's designed to um, you know, ease the burden of loved ones. It's easier to qualify than a traditional whole life policy or any type of life policy is. So the way this product's going to work is it's going to be an accept or reject. 
So within, you know, within 24 hours or so, you'll know if the application is an accept or a reject. We will go up to a table F as in Frank. So if it's a table F or better, the case is approved. If it's above a table F, it'll be a declined case. So there's no table ratings or anything on it. Um, there's no limit, you know, there's no graded or modified death benefits that I'll get into a little bit more on, on how this product is different, but it's a truly, it's an accept or a reject. And what we do is we run a script check and MIB and an MVR along with the application. And one of the key things on the application is there's a series of questions. If you answer yes to a question, it doesn't automatically mean that that person's disqualified. It just means that we'll need to do additional information. But what we do is we obtain a lot of that information from a third party source that we make a determination off of that if the person can be accepted or rejected. So there's no APSs on this product. There's no delays along those lines. We can get the information off the application and then with the additional information that we're able to obtain. So it's a it's an easier way to qualify because it's that simplified issue up to a table F. Premiums do not increase, you know, it's they're a level premium. And again, it's not a modified or a graded death benefit. So the day the policy is issued and paid for, they have a say they take out a $25,000 policy. They don't have to wait two years in, you know, to see if, if it's going to pay out the full benefit. It's going to pay out 100% of that benefit from day one after the policy is issued. And again, you know, policies don't decrease unless they do take out a loan. And because we're talking life insurance, we have an income tax free benefit. So the ages on this, as, as mentioned at the beginning, um, it's a pretty high age limit. What, what this product is, it's from ages 45 to 85. So we're going to issue policies, again, from ages 45 through 85. So a lot of products in this market might stop at 75 or 80. We'll actually go up to age 85 on it. With also, the coverage is going to range from 5,000 to 50,000. You know, some of the guarantee issues out there, you know, it might be 25,000. Again, this is not guarantee issue. It's a simplified issue. So there is medical underwriting. It's limited, but there is some, um, but we're, we're able to go up to 50,000 on it. And what it's intended to do is cover uh, funeral costs, medical bills, outstanding debt, you know, probate expenses, any other final expenses. A lot of times people will look at this and say they're a first time buyer. Um, are the people looking for this? That could be the case, but not always. You might run into a lot of people that say, you know, I have a $10,000 burial expense policy. You know, well, here's the bottom line is look at what prices on everything, you know, a gallon of milk, gas, you know, go down the line, cars. What have they gone up in price in the last two to three years? Pretty substantial. Well, guess what? That same thing can be said with funeral costs. Funeral costs have gone up so that $10,000 that they have isn't probably going to cut it for what they need it for now. The other part of it is I look a lot of times at this. There are typically six times in a person's life when they're more apt to buy life insurance. The first one is usually, you know, they're getting married, then they're having kids, and then it's buying a house. Go along with that. You have kids, you have a house, you have cars, you have debt. The next one is estate planning. Usually the final time a person looks at buying life insurance is final expense. So out of the, all the different times when a person's more apt to buy life insurance, this is typically that final time that they're looking at um, on this type of product. Once again, you know, it's ages 45 to 85. It's a simpler, easy process to qualify for than it is on, you know, a traditionally underwritten product. The application process, what, what we do is we offer it in two different ways. You can either do a paper application if you want to, that we'll make available to you, or you can do an electronic application. So I can tell you this, that in the past, an electronic app versus a paper app, it's about the same process time. However, on this product and the way our system works now, um, an electronic app, if you did an electronic app at 10 o'clock at night on a Tuesday night, 
If I was on my computer, I would see at 10 o'clock at night that that app was completed and I could see it and the underwriter would see it that very next morning. If you do a paper application on this product, it's going to cause typically about a one, two day delay. Um, because what it does is they have to manually take that paper application, enter it into the system. So by all means, you know, from a, from a time standpoint, you're going to find it um, more efficient if you're able to do an electronic app is to do that electronic application. But by no means are we saying don't do paper app. If you're more comfortable with paper app, that's perfectly fine. Um, but we do offer it both ways. The other thing that we do is we have it where you can pay, um, you can do a continuous pay. So it's a pay to 121 product. Or if you have somebody that says, you know, I have $5,000 sitting in a CD money market account that's that I have designed to pay for my funeral, you can do a single premium on this product if you want to. Um, so it is available in a single premium if the person chooses to do so. I will tell you this, that uh, in the last two months since we came out this product, probably 95% or higher has been a continuous pay versus a single pay. It's just in this market, people are usually, you know, they don't have that money set aside. They're on a budget. Um, they may not have that much sitting around um, in a money market or savings account. Um, and so they, they're looking to pay it on a continuous pay. But we do offer it both ways um, for your clients that do want it. The other thing that this product does, because it's a whole life product, there are loans available. So if in five years, an emergency comes along and they need to access some money, they can access some of that um, money, uh, you know, to take out a loan if, if they need to do so. You know, I, I usually suggest a loan is there in case of emergency, you know, it's not recommended because what's it going to do if it's not repaid, it's going to reduce down that death benefit at the end, but it is available in case of an emergency. So to kind of go through some of the key things on, on this product, again, is uh, issue ages are 45 to 85, 5,000 to 50,000. It's a single pay or a continuous pay. This is a key part of it is there's no substandard issue, but the most important part that I can tell you on this is it's an aggregate rates only. And what I mean by that is we have male and female rates However, we do not have smoker and non-smoker rates. So if you get somebody that's 70 years old, um, smokes a pipe, smokes cigarettes, chews, you know, smokes a cigar, um, they actually will get the same rate as a non-smoker. So all of a sudden our smoker rates, you know, are very, very competitive for, for where the rest of the market is. You know, I will get some people that say, well, I'll focus on the on the smoker rates. Well. That's fine, but statistically, 85% of the general population, and when you're getting the senior market, it's even a higher percentage, are non-smokers. So, you know, it's important, to obviously, to focus on both, but if you do have a smoker, um, the rates are going to be very, very competitive because of that aggregate rating. The policy fee is a $36 policy fee, so basically $3 a month is the policy fee. The mode factors are your general mode factors. You can do it on a monthly bank draft, quarterly, semi-annually, annually. Uh, the non-forfeiture options is we have extended term. We have cash surrender value. If you were in Florida, you could do a reduced paid up. Uh, unfortunately, all the other states, it's not approved. I am purely guessing that it's you're dealing with the senior market a lot down in Florida, so they probably required a reduced paid up on it. Um, where the other states didn't. So it's in Florida is a reduced paid up only. Everybody else is the extended term or the cash surrender um, are the non-forfeiture options. And once again, loans are available. From a, from a marketing standpoint, we have uh, multiple different uh, agent guides that are available. So we have our true agent guide. We have um, kind of just what we call our break sheet, just kind of gives some statistics about um, how the product works. And then we have a SIWL rate sheet. We have two different rate sheets that are available. Um, the first one is one that's the old fashioned way where it's the rate per thousand. And then the other one is say you want $10,000, it'll show you what $10,000 costs per month. So it calculates it out for you. And then we also have a consumer 
uh, guide that if you want that for your clients, um, we have it available for you as well. This is just kind of a quick snapshot of what, uh, what the rate sheet looks like. So, you know, for example, if you have a 60 year old uh, male, again, we don't have to look at if it's smoker or non-smoker because it's aggregate. Uh, you're looking at 5168 per thousand and then you add the policy fee onto it. So it's kind of the old fashioned way of doing the menial rate sheets. Obviously we have our rates available and Leah will get into that on our agent forum or our 5G quoting tool, either one of those. But for those of you that do want rate sheets, we do have those available. Um, regarding um, processing, I know I was asked to kind of cover processing and uh, you know what the turnaround time is. And I'll give you an idea of what we're experiencing on this product so far. So from the time the app is submitted, usually an underwriter is going to look at that case within 24 hours. So you should know within the first 24 to 48 hours if the policy is accepted or rejected. Then what it does is it goes to issue. Um, we are experiencing, we have a system that came into place last year. Um, it typically takes about five to seven business days to get the policy from the time that it's approved to the time that the policy is ready to go out the door. So we are working pretty much every single day trying to improve that process. From when we came out with it, we've cut about three or four days off of it already. And our goal is to get it down even lower. But right now you're looking on average, probably about five to seven um, days from the time the case is approved to the time it gets out the door. And obviously why that's important is that's, you know, that's when the commissions are paid. Our commission cycles run on Wednesdays. Um, so if a case is approved through the system um, and showing paid, the commissions will be, will be paid on that Wednesday and, and available in your accounts on that Friday. But again, you know, you're gonna know the answer within 24, 48 hours if the person's accepted or rejected. And again, you know, I don't, don't wanna say that's the day the policy goes out. There is a little bit of a delay. We are working very, very hard on that and it goes with all of our products at getting that that time frame down but you should know within 24 48 hours um you know what the status of the case is on if it's an accept or if it's a reject and i will uh you know i don't know how you want to do it if you want to open up for any questions on the products now or if we want to wait till the end when leah's done um i'll leave it up to you on how you want to yeah. handle that so far, amazing. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and keep the ball rolling. So Leah, go ahead and take it over and we'll do all questions at the end of the call. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I, I should have asked you that first, but. <laughs> oh, you're good, Dan. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Yep. And Leah, whenever you're ready. Yes, I'm mic. actually ready. I'm trying to share my screen, but I'm a participant, okay. so I need to, okay. I need some control. <laughs> All right, we're going to make you a co-host, Leah. Hang tight. Okay. All right, I think I can now. Okay, yep, you're a co-host. You should be able to share your screen. Excellent. All right, so hopefully you guys should see yep. my screen. Excellent. See Looks great. Perfect. So uh, first step, probably want to get some quotes, right? So if you're old school, you can absolutely use that rate sheet. Um, our 5G quote site is a, a public site actually that anyone can access. This is like your new school rate sheet essentially that does all the math for you. Um, so the site is uh, www.the number five letter G quote.com. So 5G quote.com. This is a great way to just access quotes. If you're out on the road, you don't really need to access a full illustration or you don't want to log in as an agent to like our agent portal. Um, so all you have to do is go out here. You can enter in your client's age, their gender, what state you're quoting for. And then if you're doing SIWL, obviously tobacco status doesn't matter. So it doesn't really matter what you put there. And then you'll just uh, click this drop down here under life insurance protection solution. You're gonna look for that simplified issue whole life. 
And then you're going to choose your protection amount here. So it defaults to 25,000. So I'm just going to keep that there and then click get a life quote. And then it's going to show you what that continuous pay rate looks like. And then if they wanted to do a, a simplified or excuse me, a single pay option. And then if you want, you can actually email this quote to yourself uh, for later or you can email it to a client as well. So this is actually my favorite way to quote SIWL only because you don't need an illustration. It's not an illustrated product, um, but if you do want to run an illustration, uh, you do have to have access to our agent portal. Um, so basically you have to have contracting paperwork and all that in, and then we'll get you access to that portal. Uh, so what it's going to look like in just a second, if my computer decides to speed up here. So this is what the agent portal internal dashboard looks like. So once you have access to the agent forum, this is what your main dashboard will look like. So once your appointment is complete and you have business in-house, you will actually be able to see your in-house applications in here and check on underwriting status on them as well. And then um, if we're gonna go look for running those illustrations, you're gonna click on this illustrations and applications tab. And then you have several different ways to do the same thing. So my preferred method is just over under illustration management off to the left here. You click on, on create illustration. You're gonna create a new client most likely. You'll enter in first and last name, age or date of birth, and gender, and click Next. And then at this point, you're going to want to make sure that your signed state, so your signed state will default to your primary resident state that you are licensed in. So if you hold non-resident licenses and you're going to be taking this e-app in another state, uh, then you would go ahead and change the state in the drop down here. That's super important if you're doing an e app because then it will choose the correct state forms um, by changing the state here. And then you'll just choose your plan type. Uh, SIWL falls under this whole life category, so we'll just choose whole life. I have a lot more options available to me, but you should have these here as well. So you have our um, traditional or legacy uh, whole life products, but then we have the simplified issue here as well. So you'll choose whether you're going to do that single pay simplified issue or a continuous pay. So we'll click on continuous pay here. And then all you really have to do here, because we don't have to choose any rate classes or anything like that, is you're going to choose your death benefit. So you can type in whatever death benefit between 5,000 and 50,000 here or you can solve for death benefit based on amount to spend. So if your client says, well, I really don't wanna spend like over $200 a month. Well, let's see what we can get him for $200 a month. And then you can either click over on values just to see what kind of death benefit we can get there. So actually that maxed me out. <laughs> <laughs> so actually 50,000 is our max. So that was $122 a month. So I went a little high on the premium there, but you can see how it'll show you. Like if I put in, for example, I should have used a better dollar amount. Let's do a hundred. Now I'm going to click over on values just to get a quick snapshot of what that looks like. So that hundred dollars a month is going to get them $40,612 of death benefit. So you can run it either way. And then what we'll do there, I'm going to change it back to death benefit just because that's how most of you are probably going to be selling this. If you want a printed illustration, then at this point, or you can download it as a PDF to email to your client, uh, you just go over to this action tab here and then click on preview illustration. Make sure your pop up blocker is turned off or nothing will happen here. And then it brings up a simple illustration with uh, have your client's information here, your information, contact information as the agent here, some verbiage about Illinois Mutual, and then it will show you that premium and death benefit and just kind of give you some additional policy information here. And then you can also see how that cash value builds each year as well. And that's pretty much it for creating a full illustration. Now at this point, if you are ready to take an application, 
you have two options to take an application, as Dan mentioned. You can do a paper application or you can do a, an electronic application. Now, if you're going to do a paper application, um, you can actually see where it says product applications and PDFs in parentheses. If you need to access a paper app, this is where you'll find it. So you'll just click there. It will show you a US map. You'll choose your state. And then these are all of our uh, insurance options here. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you choose the right one here. So under life insurance, you'll see the life insurance application packet, simplified issue, whole life. So you'll just click on that and it will pull up the whole app for you with a checklist. And then you can either download this. This is a fillable PDF. So you can fill this out on your computer in its entirety and print it out. You can email it if somebody wants to uh, print out the signature page and then scan it and send it back to you either way. And then let's get back into the agent forum. So taking an e-app. So if you're gonna take an e-app, what you can do then is if you have created an illustration, you'll click on the action button and then click application and then click create. And then basically what it's done is it has moved your client's first and last name, their gender. Uh, if you did not put in date of birth and you put in age, you'll have to put in that date of birth, but essentially, essentially everything with a red asterisk is a required field. You can bounce around through the different sections of the application. So maybe you only have like 80% of the information that you need. You can at least fill all that in and then you'll know, you know, what's left that maybe you need to make a phone call to your client to get the remaining information. Um, I'm going to actually jump into a completed app that I have done just so I can show you what the signature process looks like because you have a couple of options depending on if you are meeting with your client in person or you can email or basically the system will generate an email to them for an e-signature. So I'm going to pull up my already completed app. <clears throat> Peyton Manning is always my guinea pig. I feel like everyone likes Peyton Manning, so I don't think anyone has too many feelings about him. <laughs> so I'm going to get into this completed app. And one thing I'm going to point out before we get to the signatures is there is one part of the app here called the Part B. So it's going to ask you, do you want to complete the Part B questions if completing a teleapplication select no? So Illinois Mutual's definition of a teleapplication is essentially you as the agent are not asking the medical questions and you are submitting the application and we are putting in an order with exam one to reach out to your client to ask them those medical questions. Sometimes this is nice on a traditional fully underwritten product, but there's only eight questions. So you might as well just ask those questions. Um, so you're going to want to click yes, and then click continue. And then it's gonna have those questions right here. And actually I take, um, this actually has more medical questions. This is a traditional app, but I didn't wanna get into the nitty gritty on this, but I wanted to show you, just make sure you mark yes on the part B and it'll have those eight questions for the simplified issue app. And then I wanted to show you the or the signing process here. So once you get to the end of the e-app and you have all of the required fields, you're gonna click continue. You'll get to this form or this page that says review forms. It will not allow you to move on until you have clicked this review forms box. Now at this point, you can do whatever you want to do with this. You can download it, you can print it, you can close out of it and move on. What I will say about this though, is this is your plan B. If your client has any issues with the e-signature process, this is the entire application that you have completed It's an entire in its entirety, even with all of the supplemental uh, like HIPAA forms and everything like that. So this is your plan B if you end up needing to go back and email this to your client for them to like put a wet signature on, or if you need to meet with them in person to take the app with a wet signature, this is your, your second option without having to start over. Okay, so then you'll click continue. Make sure your client is signing in the state that you took an app on. 
And then you're going to have two signature methods available to you. These last three are for home office only, so ignore those. So your two options are mouse finger stylus or e-signature. Mouse finger stylus is if you are meeting with your uh, client in person and then they can just sign it on the computer with you. That is also what you will choose as the agent to sign as well. Uh, it is the easiest process. So I'm gonna show you what an e-signature looks like uh, for the client and then I'll show you the mouse finger stylus for the agent. So I chose e-signature. Your client does need to have a valid email address uh, in order for them to e-sign because we will email them the disclosure forms following their application signing. And then you'll click save. At this point, you get a box that says an email will be sent to the address to initiate the signature process. However, uh, that email has actually not gone out yet until you as the agent have signed it. So do not stop here, click okay, and then click continue. And then you will answer those agent certification questions regarding replacement if you're related to your client. Um, don't worry about this exam requirements section. That's on a full app. You won't have any exam requirements. And then there's a little comments box here at the end. Um, I wouldn't put any like pertinent medical information in here. Sometimes you can like maybe um, your client's last A1C if they're diabetic or something like that. Uh, a lot of times what I would recommend to agents if um, they are not going to be able to deliver the policy to their client within a reasonable amount of time. Uh, maybe they live in a different state or they're five hours away from you. Um, the default is that the uh, policy is mailed to you as the agent to deliver. So you can request that underwriting mail the policy to your client instead. And then click continue. Again, you have to review those forms of the advisor. So you can just exit right out of there, click continue. This page here is only if you need to add an attachment. In most cases, you won't be adding anything, but if you have a cover letter or anything, like a file that you feel like you need to include with the application, you can do that here. Click continue. And here's where you will sign as the agent. So I'm gonna choose that mouse finger stylus method. And then all you're gonna do is I'm using my mouse, or if you have a touch screen, you can use your finger. Don't worry, everyone looks like a kindergartner signed it, so I would not get too hung up on how your signature looks. And then click apply my signature. And then at this point, you'll click continue. On the next page, if you and your client have signed together and uh, both with the mouse finger stylus, then at this point you can submit the application. It goes into underwriting immediately. Like I've been on the phone with an agent who submitted an app and I went into our underwriting system and saw it within seconds. So as soon as it's submitted or as soon as you get to this page and you both have signed, you will be able to click the submit button. Right now the submit button is grayed out for me because I sent an email to my client to sign. So you can see that right now that status is the email is sent, it's not yet been signed. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you need to come back out here and check on the status of that app, you're wondering if your client has signed it, you go back out to, you'll click on illustrations and applications. You're on your home tab here and you'll click on your applications tab and you'll see that the status is awaiting signature. Once your client has signed, you will get a notification as the agent that they have signed their application and that goes immediately to underwriting. So you don't need to cl click a submit button or anything like that. It's gonna come straight into the system. Now I will advise you that your client will receive an email from our uh, e-app vendor, which is called One Span. S P A N is a Nancy One Span sign, and it says Illinois Mutual has added you as a signer to documents. They'll click a link, and it will take them to a page where they enter in the last four of their social and their date of birth, and that's how they get into the application to sign it. Um, the process is a little different from the e-signature side. Um, it's not, they're not just, you know, signing with a mouse. What they have to do is they are clicking to sign on each page that requires a signature on the application. So like the first page, it'll kind of highlight where they need to sign. So all they're doing is clicking and it applies essentially a signature. That's their name. And then they'll click an arrow to go to the next page and they'll click to sign. And then once it's been completed, then it gets submitted. And as Dan mentioned, 
Um, paper applications can delay the process 24 to 48 hours because essentially what we have to do with those paper apps is turn it into an e-app. So we have to take that paper app and manually enter in all the information into the system as an electronic application. So if uh, you're comfortable with e-apps or maybe you want to try it for the first time, I would definitely recommend, you know, that's the way to go because with the simplified issue whole life, you're looking, you and your client are both looking for a quick uh, fast decision. And so e-apps are definitely going to be the way to go there. All right. I think I covered most everything as far as quoting and the application process. Does anyone have any awesome. questions? Thank, thank you, Leah. Great presentation. Um, what an awesome system. I love the instant underwriting. I'm sure everyone in here is, is probably giddy over that, that feature you have. Great platform. Absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, let's go into a, let's go into some questions here. So Leah, um, Dan, I'm going to read off. We have a couple questions in here and as they come in, I'll read them to you. And then you just let me know what your answer is. Okay. So first things first, folks, um, go ahead and start typing in questions in the chat box. But as you do that, I want to mention a couple things and I might actually answer a couple questions while I'm at it. But if you're interested in contracting, it's a very, very simple process. It's not difficult. I threw it in the chat. So if you all open up the chat and you look at the most recent message, you'll see agent services at acmgsales.com. So if you want to get contracted with Illinois Mutual, all you need to do is send us an email and we will get you contracted. And we'll probably ask you a couple response questions. Um, once you send us an email, for example, are you currently an MGA? Are you a GA? Are you a solo producer? Do you have downline agents? Um, what's your projected business of apps you'll write? All those questions will determine, of course, what um, commission schedule we get. The reason we ask that is we do have, like I said at the beginning of the call, the top contracts in the business. However, there's been many times where we've gone to bat to get somebody the top contract and they wouldn't write business for two or three years straight. So, if we, you know, obviously to honor our partnership with Illinois Mutual, if we're going to give top contracts, you have to, you have to write business. You can't just have the contract sitting there. So just let us know what your projected business is, what your operation looks like when you email us, we'll get you contracted and we will send you your commission schedule. Okay. So that's what that looks like. So let's start asking some questions. Dan, Leah, whoever wants to take this first one. Um, somebody asked here, Blake said, can I do face-to-face -face electronic applications? Yes, you sure can. Yep. Perfect. You can, all you need to do is if you have your laptop with you, um, you can uh, sit there face-to-face, -face, go through it and turn the computer around to them to do the signature, you know, or if you want to email it, some people prefer to do an email. I, I personally would prefer just to do that signature right there and they can do the signature, but if they prefer the email, you know, they can email it, they can check their email and do the signature right there in front, but it can be seen or unseen for the electronic application. Love it. Very simple. And again, everyone, I'm sure you just saw how user-friendly for the consumer and for the broker that Illinois Mutual's platform is very, very convenient. So, yep, you can do that. Um, John asked people on dialysis with five years plus, are they insurable? What I would recommend on that situation is uh, to call one of our underwriters to find out. Um, now I'm in sales, so in my mind, everybody's insurable or even preferred, <laughs> um, but that's the reason I'm not in underwriting. Um, I could do some checking on it, but if there's any other conditions that go with it, um, that would cause it to go above a table F. But uh, I would highly recommend just um, contacting one of our underwriters um, and Leah might have the number. The, it's, the 800 number is 800-437-7355. And then- 810. 810, thank you, Leah. <laughs> I can never remember, I know other departments, but the can extension you that number for underwriting 810? department is 810. And because they will typically- I can tell you yes or no, but usually they have additional questions that they want to know is, um, you know, different conditions that I don't even think about because I'm in sales and not underwriting. 
but uh, anybody in underwriting would be able to help you with that question. I I don't know off the top of my head. Leah, I don't know if you know if if you've ran into that one or not. I haven't, but I'm looking at like our underwriting guy that does have um, some lists of medical conditions and kidney failures in there. And typically if you're under dialysis, I, and this is just me assuming, I would definitely talk to underwriting, but I think dialysis kind of falls under kidney failure and that is a decline. Um, but I would double check with underwriting just to be sure. Perfect. Do you mind if I get that phone number? I'm going to put it in the chat. I heard 810. Uh, yeah. I actually did put it in the chat. Oh, perfect. Leah, Hopefully you can right see here. it there. Wonderful. So if you guys want, you can see the number is in there. That's the underwriting desk. So John, that was a great question. If you want to ask underwriting, you have the number at the bottom of the chat or excuse me, the top of the chat. You can look at that and call that number. Um, Marlon asked, how fast is a decision on an e-app? On an e-application, um, so the e-application comes in, um, say it came in at eight o'clock in the morning. We would typically, I, our experience for the first two months has been, usually you know within that day, as long as the application, as long as there's no missing information on the application, you typically know that day or the next day. Um, I have not witnessed any cases where it's been more than, than two days, and most of them, what we're seeing is in the first business day. Now, if it's three o'clock in the afternoon, it's probably going to be that next day. But mm -hmm. um, typically, what we're seeing is that the, within the first 24, 48 hours is when a decision is going to be made. And they actually, a lot of times, we use a third-party source on our stuff. So if it's a decline, that's typically even known faster because we, we obtain that medical information, and they know right off that off the prescriptions or, or different scoring systems on, on if it's an accept or reject. But typically, you'll know within 24 hours, um, sometimes 48 hours, um, if it's an accept or reject. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Dan. Um, I had three back-to-back -back questions, one from Bill, Paul, George, asking um, how are commissions paid, when are they paid, and what are percentages? So how are commissions paid? They're paid directly. So you'll get paid directly. Now for the question is, what are the percentages and how soon? This soon is gonna depend if you set up in advance, if you set up as earned, um, but for those questions, as well as percentages, like I said earlier, that all just depends on what your operation looks like. We offer the top contracts with Illinois Mutual, but in order to get to whatever your contract is, we just need you to email us and let us know about your operation. For example, we can't get somebody set up with the highest level commission if you're never going to sell a policy. There's no point in that. So just email us. Let us know what your operation looks like. Do you have downline agents? Are you an MGA? Are you a GA? What is your projected sales over the next 12 months? All of that will dictate what commission schedule that we can approve you at. But again, we do offer the top contracts and we're happy to get any one of those contracts. Just send us an email. I did put that in there. It's agent services at acmgsales.com for all, everything, renewals, first year commissions, advances, everything. All you need to do is just email us at agent services at acmgsales.com. And Paul asked me, what, is, uh, what does it look like for a spread of commissions? If Paul, if you're referring to downline agents, that's going to depend on you. If you have a team of agents, if you have people with you, that's that all depends on how you set that up as an agency manager, okay? So again, for any commission questions or contracting questions, the easiest way to do it, just email us at agentservices at acmgsales.com. That's how you're going to be able to get all of those questions there. It's going to be simple. I'll throw it in the chat again. Everyone should be able to see that there. Um I'm looking at here. We had a couple other questions here. Um, okay, this is a good question, Leah and Dan. Of course, uh, George is asking, the final expense market is competitive. That is very true. How do rates compare with Mutual of Omaha, Transamerica, or other major players in the final expense market? What we're going to find is, so some of those are going to be a guarantee issue. So I want to, you know, it's, 
it's not an apples to apple because they're going to be a higher premium because it's a guarantee issue where it's a simplified issue. From a simplified issue standpoint with the marketplace, you know, if if it's a smoker, I can tell you we we are very, very competitive, probably not the lowest on the market because we do the aggregate uh, writing underwriting from a underwriting standpoint. So again, you know, smokers, non-smokers, all the same rate. Um, from a non-smoker standpoint, from what I've seen, you know, we're we're in the ballpark on on what what that is. The key thing to keep in mind is some of those that you're looking at might be a graded or a modified death benefit, where ours is going to be a level death benefit 100% from day one. So when when you compare the full death benefit from day one, the aggregate underwriting, we should be right in line, especially you know on smokers. That's for I can guarantee you that what from what I've seen from rates and what agents are telling me is that we pretty much are one of the lowest on the market because we don't, so to speak, charge the smoker rate. Um, but on the non-smokers, which is a majority of the population, we should be, you know, in line with where they're at. Perfect. Thank you, Dan. I think that that was a perfect way to describe rates. Um, you know, a, a, a best way that I always say to compare it is contract with Illinois Mutual and cross compare it with other carriers. Say you have a client, you have a case that comes in, male, female, 60 years old, whatever their situation looks like, maybe they want 15,000 of, of final expense, whatever it is, find it for yourself. That's a great way to see is actually give it, give it a test run, give it a shot. And I think you'll be very, um, uh, you'll be very pleasantly surprised with how competitive mutual uh, Illinois mutual is the rates are, are going to be competitive it's a incredible product very robust in the market so George asked a question accelerated benefits are there accelerated benefits so if you have I know for sure if you have you know the terminal illness benefit rider you can accelerate them on that um, on our traditional products we have a living benefit rider uh, that if you can't perform two out of six ADLs, you can accelerate that. I don't believe that's available on this because it's going up to that table F. Um, and on that product, it's up to a table D. But if you have terminal illness, you can accelerate it. Um, and typically, it's the way we treat it is 24 months or less to live. Got it. Perfect. Thank you, Dan. So I'm looking at here. Let's open it up maybe to a couple more questions. Is anyone in there? Um, yep, thank you. Absolutely, George. Glad to help. Uh, any other questions in there? As people type in some final questions here, Leah, Dan, do you have any final thoughts before we conclude the meeting today? One thing that I forgot to mention, so the appointment process. So typically in the industry as a whole, when an agent appoints with an insurance company, companies do not appoint an agent until they submit their first piece of business, because otherwise we're paying licensing fees for, you know, thousands upon thousands of agents that may never produce. Um, however, what we are doing on this product to help speed up the process is if you get appointed with Illinois Mutual we're going to actually appoint you before you submit your first app. And what that does is that helps expedite the process. So we're not waiting for uh, agent contracting to complete your paperwork while you have an application pending. Your appointment paperwork will be ready to go when, when you submit your first app. So it helps avoid some of those initial delays up front, which, you know, in this type of market can be huge. Thank you, Dan. I totally agree. I uh, had a couple other people said they logged on a little bit late. No problem at all. We did record this presentation today. And once we upload it, which will just take us a little bit of time, we got to edit the video and then upload it. But you can watch this recording on our YouTube page. Now, I threw it in the chat. It's American Central Marketing Group. You can actually uh, log on to your YouTube account, look up American Central Marketing Group, and you can check out the recording of this um, Marlon, um, you're asking about renewal rates. What are the chargeback schedules? Like every other commission schedule, Marlon, um, do me a huge favor. Just email, email me right now. Agent, I'm putting in there services at acmgsales.com. Do me a big favor, Marlon. Why don't you just email me real quick? My team and I will we'll be happy to respond to that. Just send us an email. Any commission questions, folks, just send us an email. 
make, make it super simple. We're ready to roll. We're at our computers. We'll happily respond. Um, so let me make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, here we go. Paul asked something. This is a good question. Can we do a shared screen for signatures? That is a great question. I have had agents tell me that they've done the signature process via Zoom and have been able to kind of hand over control to get the signatures. I've never actually seen it done myself, but I haven't been told that it doesn't work. So if you have used that before to obtain signatures on um, kind of an e-app type thing, it should also work. Perfect. Thank you, Lee. appreciate that. So based off the street cred, it works. So wonderful. Well, that looks like all the questions again, everybody. I appreciate you all for, uh, Rob and I both are very grateful. Um, the whole team at American Central Marketing Group, we're glad that you could join us today. I'm sure you saw the value in what Illinois Mutual can do for you, for your business, for your clients, everything from the robust benefits of the product, the underwriting, the age limits, the death benefit face amounts, the broker technology, the platform, the enrollment, it's all very convenient. It's definitely a go-to. It's a must, in my opinion. So if you want to get contracted, you want to know what the, the commissions are, just email us at agentservices at acmgsales.com. And we are looking forward to connecting with you. So everybody, hope you have an awesome day. We appreciate you taking time. And we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Leah. Thank you so much Thank for you. having us today. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.